Hey guys, it's your favorite Abuja mommy vlogger, Deka Diary of an Abuja mom. I currently create content on motherhood and lifestyle. So today I'm actually collaborating with a mommy YouTuber, Vicky, and we're doing this collaboration because we're two moms that experienced almost the same thing and we're like to share it with you guys and i'm really really excited so after watching this video please head over to my channel and go check out my own video and don't forget to subscribe can't wait to see you there hey guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is vicky and i make videos from lagos nigeria you guys can already feel that i'm very excited about this one because this video is in collaboration with diary of abuja mom aka our dish dish kind mama so guys if you finish watching this video like if you're done watching this one if you feel like a buzzer queen then that means you have not seen diary of abuja mom you have not seen that lady like her energy is top notch and i'm very sure you guys will actually most definitely love her content because she's she's a vibe like seriously who who is who comes from kotako and doesn't give you that vibe that you actually want so guys please rush over to her channel and give her the support that she wants watch her videos subscribe to her channel like her videos leave comments down below do all of those good stuff on our channel and we both are grateful if you guys comply because we know you will most definitely definitely comply so diary of abuja mom is expecting you guys in her channel so guys if you're seeing my face for the very first time my name is vicky and i make videos from lagos nigeria and if you're a returning subscriber hello guys thank you so very 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 much for coming back to watch this video you guys are the real mvp and the new and old subscriber you guys are most definitely welcome so guys in this video i just want to be telling you guys the things i love and the things i hated or should i say the things i actually missed about being pregnant so this is me reminiscing on my experience and telling you guys things i actually love throughout the journey and the things i actually hated like some things are just annoying you understand so without further ado let us get right into this video guys this video now for pigeon now we're going to try to see whether we fit duam you understand whether we go going flames whether we fit catch the groove you understand one of the things when i know like when i get belay do you understand was craving like when things we you know they necessary just the hungry you up and down you understand you could just they feel like saying you want chop some kind of messy things when people go they ask you they say babe what's up now what which one is this one and then i i also really been they like like spicy food i like food that is so spicy and it makes me just feel like yeah i'm on board you get even though I mean, most people go they tell me say ah babe this too much pepper no good for your belly or you know good for you and your baby you blah 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 i wasn't listening you understand so that was part of the things when i actually never really liked about being pregnant you understand and another thing when i be no like when i get belly now the fat say are they always they tired like fatigue like you they tired in a way when even they frustrating you understand you go just they like this you know people you help yourself you go just they like this to break self they tire you to so listen to people they tire you like anyway you go they feel like say you won't die like seriously the teen the teen it was really crazy and i could not like seriously i had a very big issue with fatigue fatigue is one of the problems we really make me feel say ah this pregnancy journey eh? ha, go easy you understand that kind of thing and then the next one when i really really hate about being pregnant was the urge to go and pee like every time i they go pee every time at the frequent toilets every time man picking go just day inside toilets you want to be you want to pee as in you can't even stay for like an hour without peeing like three times you understand you know if you come out go anywhere where you know say toilet nobody for that place because the thing will disgrace your generation you understand at night sometimes i pee like five to eight times at night you cannot sleep soundly without going to pee that urge to pee you could just go pee come out as you just come back now so your picking will just 
kick you for your bladder and then the next thing you're feeling the urge to go and wee again you understand it's frustrating like it's making me feel like jesus christ what nonsense is this? next thing when i actually know like when i get belly now stretch mark as in guys this stretch mark designed like you go design some people you know actually design me too much but the truth of the matter is i get small like i get the sign say this woman don't get belly before that kind of stretch mark nobody say now that type with the like say tiger catch you no i don't get that type but the truth of the matter is say when you get belly some people they always happy when they are pregnancy they around six months seven like, let me say like six months or seven months there about some people still they happy say ah my belly never gets stretch mark and nobody get stretch mark they go they happy they go they brag they go they make mouth but babe when the stretch mark won't come around it and nine months that time when you be like so now that time when your belly they expand the highest you understand you could just grab you like say hold on never they make mouth i don't come and it will be like so now your village people nine just remember you do you understand the thing will just start to design you now what me have one for my own my first belly i be no get stretch mark at all my second belly at the end nine small can start to the come out and i actually know like that part about being pregnant say one picking person will start to get stretch mark on top belly but you know that's one of the price we pay of being parents you get so the next one when i be actually know like when i get belly now itchy skin like i'm sure this one already happened to everybody but this one actually frustrated me in the last pregnancy when i just born you understand it actually frustrated me like my skin were itchy to the extent that i was feeling like are you sure i don't have one sickness or the other are you sure i don't have one condition i had to go to the clinic and doc the doctors were like that's one of the signs of being pregnant i, I think maybe due to dry skin or I, I actually did not know why but my skin were so itchy like it was annoying like I felt sometimes I feel very irritated and angry because of how it itches me. That was what was, was part of the things I actually never really liked about being pregnant. You understand me? Next one, in fact, this one, eh, I actually, 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 they get frustrated, like I they get angry about the fact that you know if you bend, see you're down there. You know if you see your quakus, you cannot even bend. Do you understand? To help yourself with your heel, with your shoes, you understand, or your sandals, you cannot sit down there anymore. Now, now you go the access and I beg. Make on a call help me check what you do me for down there. That if you have a condition there, <laughs> it's annoying. You get, you know, as the bump is growing, you get, you just lose hope of even seeing down there. Don't even bother. Namira will they help you because at this point, you know, go fit as in you know, go fit see. And then to bend each time I want to go out. Now, my husband, I can't be my shoe wearer because he was the one that was always wearing me my shoes. I cannot bend to wear my shoes. I you can't even bend to wash your feet when you're pregnant, like when the pregnancy is is bulging like within four even four or five months you can't even really bend to watch wash your feet anymore and it gets even worse as the day goes by because you cannot bend any for that you get so even when i'm beating sometimes i call my husband i bet mostly when my husband is around because i have to call him to come and help me sponge my feet actually the last thing when i know like about being pregnant is shortness of breath guys it was annoying like seriously that one eh, i don't know whether they do everybody the one will be say before you climb two three step you don't they pant like say you don't they run 100 kilometers since morning you understand you'll be panting as if your whole life is going out of you you get like i can't walk a distance whether i'm climbing hill or not whether i'm climbing a step or, or not but just walking a short distance and i'm already panting i'm already feeling as if I, i'm lacking hair air in my lungs it was annoying and I actually did not like that part so to the ones that I actually love like there are things that we love now nobody no like with that thing you understand there are a lot of things that I love about pregnancy that makes me feel like if it's possible for me to be pregnant every year no I'm exaggerating but I actually love that fact about pregnancy was number one on my list is the fact that my husband over pampers me yeah when i'm pregnant the pampering is top notch the pampering no be here you understand he does everything for me he makes me have everything i want anything i want when i want and how i want it you understand that pampering was always there you know what game might say he, he's trying to complain about anything he pampered me to a fault like over pampering that is the thing the pampering been just did here you understand just makes me feel so <laughs> no woman will not go like that one guy 
babe i loved he died that's one of the things i miss not like he doesn't pamper me now but now he can have excuse of not pampering me he can have excuse of telling me please go and help yourself but then he feels like i can't help myself and sometimes three i actually cannot help myself so he had no choice but to do the things that he needed to do and then the next thing that i loved or the next one when i love about being pregnant i got to sleep more i could come be lazy so as far as this pregnancy they concern i did sleep more sleep when i like and with the help of the fatigue which i hated it just makes me okay since i'm tired oh yeah let me sleep now and i like sleep like my husband <laughs> used to tell me then when i was pregnant that is that you cannot fast from sleeping i'm like don't even go there <laughs> when they were doing fasting in church he told me that he, to, he told me that ah baby since you cannot fast fast food fasting now you're fast from sleeping now i just busted into laughter like who does that well where <laughs> i cannot fast and i loved the fact that i was always 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 sleeping and it was i was enjoying it you understand enjoying it and then the next thing when i love about being pregnant having the perfect excuse of eating what i want and in the quantity that i actually want you understand that phrase of i'm eating for two <laughs> you will eat without even feeling guilty that kind of a thing you will eat the quantity you want when you want and how you want it and you understand whatever you want my husband will give it to you to eat and i eat the quantity you know now if I, if i'm eating when i'm not pregnant eh, the guilt self will just be like ah, babe you go fat too but when i was pregnant I had an excuse of I'm eating for two or that <laughs> you understand I was eating for two so that 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 privilege of eating what I want when I want and how I want it in the quantity that I want most importantly was nothing as in was amazing it was an amazing feeling that kind of a thing where sometimes you can tell your husband that I, I feel like eating snail and then my husband will be like maybe now if you tell him I feel like eating snail he might tell you later but when you tell him I feel like eating snail he'll say really when do you want the snail? Is it now? How do you want it? You know that kind of a thing. And then I eat it in the quantity I like. If they buy like 20 snails and come, I might be the one to eat 15. And I'm like, I'm eating for two. <laughs> that particular aspect, I actually really, really, really enjoyed it and I missed it. And then the next thing I loved and missed about being pregnant is no more periods no more menstrual flu like it can be annoying when you're just expecting your menstrual flu like but when you have when you're pregnant you just i don't miss it <laughs> they say you miss your period i don't miss it <laughs> i don't miss it please let it stay far away from me because i'm happy that i am not that that discomfort that comes with seeing your period you understand i actually loved it that I'm not seeing my period when I was pregnant. So that's part of the thing that I loved about being pregnant. That menstrual flow was not there to disturb my pretty life anymore, you understand? So those are the things that I loved about pregnancy. And then the next thing I loved about being pregnant is not being bothered how my clothes fit. After all, I only belly the big, every other thing is small, yeah, she's small, the breasts is not even growing. It's just the bulging tummy that is growing big, 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 every other thing is small. So I wasn't, I wasn't bothered if uh, my tummy is not well tucked in. Or oh, how do I wear a waist clincher so that this tummy will not be big? Or oh, hey, how do I do this? Oh, God! I was not bothered. You understand? Everybody knows that I'm pregnant. The tummy has to be big. So <laughs> it was enjoyable. You understand? I, I didn't have to check. Does the clothes really fit me? Does it suit me? Does it how is my figure eight showing? Is it lie lie? You just go with the flow. You just take it, throw it on yourself, and you move on because people will understand. You understand? And then another thing. Oh, this one, guys. <laughs> this one, the one I missed about being pregnant, and I loved it so much, is the preferential treatment. Like like people become nicer to you like you go to the bank and they're telling you madam come don't stand on the queue like you're walking on the road people are just there's some form of preferential treatment like you go to the party people are just you know madam come what do you want to eat you understand that kind of thing people become very nice to you like they want to ask you they want to be of help they want to they just generally become nicer to you that preferential treatment is mind-blowing like i missed it because some days now if i go like the other day that i i did it in my vlog that i went to the bank and then there was queue if i was pregnant i wouldn't have stayed on that queue i would have just walked straight to the security even if i decide to stay on the queue there will be a security guy that will come and tell you madam come and then you just feel like 
like the boss <laughs> that kind of a thing so that's one of the things i love 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 that preferential treatment that people being nicer to you oh madam sorry oh madam easy oh madam be careful ah, ah, ah you push your shift for madam to sit stand up let madam sit down da, da, da. ah it is it's really 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 enjoyable i must confess like i enjoyed it and good life blaming everything on my pregnancy like i have excuse for everything like you do something wrong you say ah now this belly out. you don't do something where it's because i am pregnant too ah you 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 sleep too much you say, ah, it's because i'm pregnant too you're lazy ah, it's because i'm pregnant too whatever i do i just blame everything on the pregnancy like in fact i don't even need to blame it on the pregnancy you will blame it for me <laughs> you understand so i miss that now i can actually take the blame and then people start blaming me but i miss blaming everything on the pregnancy and then the last but not the least one this one eh? <laughs> if my husband watches this video he will be like so this is what you have been doing or you were doing you understand <laughs> enjoying enjoying the lack of guilt that come with being lazy with house chores guys already me i'm lazy you i did very very lazy i'm not gonna tell you like but the fact say i just enjoy that part i enjoy it so much eh? i go lazy around i need to do anything again please make one leave me i know fit i know fit i bet more leave me i know go fit do that thing i i just enjoy and i know they feel guilty you know that kind of a thing because now even though you want to be lazy eh, you will feel guilty about the whole thing you'll be feeling guilty like ah i'm not supposed to oh, i'm supposed to do this so oh, i'm supposed to do this so oh. but that non guilt that you feel while being lazy and reluctant and lackadaisical <laughs> You can't compare it to anything like me. You will not feel, I don't feel one naira guilty. I don't feel guilty at all. I just lazy around. And I know most of you have these things that you love about being pregnant. Please leave it in the comment section. Let us share our, our likes and dislikes about being pregnant, our, what we love and what we hate, or what you missed about being pregnant, uh, or what you actually hated while you were pregnant. Please leave it in the comment section. I'd love to read from you guys. And do not forget to go to Deca's channel to watch her own. She's actually pregnant and so it will be a fun video for her it's also it's going to be she's going to express it first hand you understand because she's still in it but i have already put to bed please you guys should go to deca and when you get to deca's channel please like her video comment on her video subscribe especially to her channel and please give her all the support that she needs and for those of you who have watched me up to this point you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please hit on the red subscribe button subscribe to this channel i bet make on a turn on notification bell who old and new people make on a turn on notification bell so that youtube go inform on whenever i post a new video guys you can tell that it's not struggle for me to speak this broken english because sometimes i could just forget myself say i suppose you're broken for this <laughs> for this video so thank you so very much guys for watching my video next time you will do better thank you guys for watching my video and i will see you guys in my next one please head over to diary of abuja mom's channel